Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penj and welcome back to Chef, hurrah, <laughs> Chef is back and I'm happy to report it's less broken, it's certainly less broken than the last time we saw Chef, because last time I tried this, it just didn't work. People got stuck at the tables. It looked a little bit like they were eating the tables. And then uh, the afternoon session kind of ticked by with people stuck at the tables. And then the evening session rolled by with nobody coming in. And then obviously you don't make any profit. And it all was just very, very much broken. It was all a bit all over the place. Now the devs have been working on it. They've not done a patch every day, but they've done a patch most days, I think. And they have ironed out those problems. I've just nipped into the game just to give it a little run through. And it works fine now. So people come in at lunchtime, everyone goes away, time ticks through to the evening session, then people come in and eat in the evening, and all that kind of stuff happens how it's supposed to, and it's all very lovely as well. But aside from, you know, fixing the major bug, aside from fixing the major bug that meant the game was unplayable, they've actually fixed something else which is far more important. They fixed the cheesecake. I can have my cheesecake at long last. It was an acknowledged bug that if you uh, unlocked cheesecake and then designed one, it wouldn't appear in your sort of list of things you could put onto your menu. That was an actual acknowledged bug, but now it's fixed. So at long last, I can finally have my cheesecake, which is very, very exciting. So um, we're going to start again. Now, I did try running one of my uh, other saves. I tried to load up one of my saves, and it wasn't very happy. It didn't seem to like it very much. Some weird things were going on. So I got rid of that. I've cleared it all out. I've reinstalled the game. So it's a whole new sort of install. It's a new run through of the game. So I think we're going to call this kind of series two. Series 2 of Chef, I think. The previous series can be Series 1. The previous parts have had. This can be Series 2 of Chef. So let us begin and let us get my hands on my cheesecake. Okay, there is our little chef guy all set up. He's in his geek covered colours. He's got his blue and his yellows on. The outfit I've also chosen seems to have pens. He's got pens in his pocket here. I mean, does a chef need pens? Oh, little run and jump for joy. Well done. I don't know why he's got pens, but, you know, if he needs to write something down in an emergency, he can do so with his pens. Okay, right, let's go. Let's press start and see where the game is going to allow us to set up. It's put us all on the right-hand side for some reason. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's go back over to the left and see what we've got. Uh, a small kitchen and a very large hall out in a country village. That could be very, very pretty. Oh, no, but it's isolated. Um, 908 for a mountain location, which is all right. That's not bad, but then it's got a hotel bringing tourists, an amusement park bringing tourists and families, and a hotel bringing more tourists. So there's an awful lot of tourism going on there, and lower class families as well. That's quite good. For 908, that is pretty good. Uh, small kitchen, small hall, on a mountain near a nature preserve to bring in vegetarians and vegans, and an airport. Okay, that's quite good for 500. 292 and immediately you go, all right, it's in a residential district near some narrow streets that's isolated. Yeah, let's not go there. I can see why it's that price. Um, that, that could be interesting. What's that? Sub uh, suburbs near a hotel and some offices. That is in a residential district in a trafficked area. I quite like the first one. Oh, that could be quite nice. A small town. Oh, that's got a lot of modifiers to it. It's also got an amusement park and then a landmark. Now, the landmark has one of these weird things, isn't it, where it says reduced overall customers. I would have thought a landmark would increase the amount of customers you've got around there because there's more people around because they're at a landmark. <laughs> They've come, tourists have come to see whatever the landmark might be. I don't know why that reduces the overall customers. Oh, I see, because the real estate prices are high. So actually living near the landmark is expensive. So you get tourists, but everyone else is reduced. Okay. Okay, right, that sort of makes sense. I don't really fancy that. Where was the one that we saw over here? Where was that that was a Ford? Well, 908. That, I think, is okay. So we're up a mountain. We're near a hotel, an amusement park, and... Uh, hang on, what's that? We're near a hotel and a luxury hotel. Okay, <laughs> okay. So uh, that brings in some tourists... That brings in some more tourists, and that brings in tourists and families. And yeah, the only real negative modifiers we've got really are... So families are sort of offset. Blue collar and white collar, not going to get many workers up a mountain. That's fair enough. Gourmet a bit less. And then, for some reason, vegetarians and vegans don't like living up a mountain. I don't know quite... <laughs> I don't know why. I thought that might be the way round. Mountainside, it's beautiful. It's closer to nature and all that kind of stuff. And you're surrounded by the natural things that the vegetarians and vegans want to preserve. But there you go, clearly not. Vegetarians and vegans really dislike mountain locations for some reason. I think that's pretty good. I think we go here. 
So let's go there. So it, I mean, it's not the best location I've seen it, but I think it's the best of what we can do right now. I mean, ideally, I'd love to go there. That's brilliant. A commercial district near a train station, near a hotel, near many things, but it's 3,640. That's quite expensive. This also has a large hall. It's got a very large hall. It's got a small kitchen. I don't think that'll be too much of a problem for us. So I think we go here. Yeah, let's go just here. And here we go. And our location looks really, really lovely. There's a lot of very nice things. There's a little sort of car park over here. I mean, yeah, there are some slightly obscure kind of trucks over here. I don't know. I guess they're delivery trucks or something. That's fine. Little car park. And then over the front here, there's a sort of sort of a little mini sort of nice picket fenced area over here. And then there's flowers in little sort of wooden flower planter things like the sort of uh, log planters, which is nice. Menu board outside, little lights, very nice. And over here, we've got a garden. <laughs> it looks really pretty. Sort of stone sort of uh, picnic style tables, a thing in the middle, some sort of bird bath, a water feature or something, a nice tree, and then lots of pretty flowers around the edge. And out here, just looks like woods that way just that way must be mountains i assume it looks very very pretty it's a really nice location and um, the kitchen is on the smaller side it's not small though i think we can fit many many things in there so let's get on with actually setting things up now what i have noticed is we do appear to have 500 dollars less money previously we started with eight grand now we're starting with seven and a half grand so that could be that could be interesting because 500 grand that's one less table at uh, 500 grand 500 dollars sorry I think the tables were 400, so you know that's one less place for you know people to come and eat. Okay, firstly let's do our name. Let's call it the uh, the TGC Eatery. That'll do TGC Eatery. Right, lock that away. Lock that away. Don't change it again, please. Right, the whole host of things up here. What do we want to do with these? Let's um let's hire some people first. Now what we could do is, where is it? Staff. Who have we got? Yes, I know how the staff works. Um, we do not have the best selection of people available. Natasha is a chef that doesn't like meat. Emma is a waiter who is easily distracted. And Jerry Lee is slow. Brilliant. Okay, there is a policy thing, isn't there, in here that means you can ask around for people to hire. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, hang on. We could spend 250 of our monies to put a job offer in the newspaper. Uh, easy to find good people. Now, do they appear instantly? Do they appear instantly? Let's do this first. Let's ask around for people to hire. Let's do that first. Let's see if that brings back any good people. Okay, immediately we've got some good people. Unfortunately, no good chefs. Some picky chefs. <laughs> so another chef that hates meat. Another chef that hates vegetables. Are you sure you lot are in the right career? So we just have to pick another chef. It's going to be Paige. Paige is the only one we can pick that doesn't have any kind of negative traits. So um, yeah, that that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. Maybe when we get some money in, we can um, sort that out. We can we can maybe uh, go and do the spending the money for the sort of a recruitment company, whatever it was. But let's get Paige in for now. That'll do. And now we want people that are good at the different kind of skills here. So your profession, you're good at lots of things. You're very good at taking orders, delivering orders and serving orders. Marnie, welcome aboard. Um, Joy is good at Joy is good at taking the orders as well, right? You're good at everything. For 70 you're good at everything for 70 as well why don't we just have two good at everything for 70 people so rudolph and abigail so page marnie rudolph and abigail so marnie is going to do the sort of the bell taking kind of bit up here on this thing so marnie is going to do that rudolph can do the welcoming thing and then abigail can do the sort of money taking bit okay that's that done now i think let's deck all the place out Let's go and do the decor. So furnishing, yep, I kind of know how furnishing works, thank you. So we're out here on a mountain. We're on a mountain side. We can't keep it looking like that. It's gonna be this sort of this sort of rough. Let's get this rough brick look going on. I quite like that. I want it to look a little bit more positive and sort of, you know, if we made it gray, it looks a bit bleak and kind of drab. This kind of looks that's a bit brighter. I like that. Uh, what's that? That's the kitchen wall. Uh, can we just have a sort of nice kind of generic kitchen wall color that's a bit dark if anything uh that's just a bit drab that's all right isn't it i quite like that what about these ones is that a little bit more yeah no i like the other ones let's have let's have that i quite like that that's okay or that one maybe uh or that one oh no that's that's a bit too pink there that's a bit too pink yeah that that's okay i like that okay and then this is the walls of the restaurant itself yeah so let's go back to here what if we do that 
There's a nice... Ooh, no, actually, I don't like that. I don't like that very much at all. What about that? Or can we have one of these? What about a yellow sort of inside? Yeah, that looks quite nice. And then floor-wise, in there, can we have those tiles, but in kind of red? And then it can look sort of Mediterranean-y almost. I like that. We sort of tried this with the previous one uh, when it, you know, when everything went wrong, <laughs> when everything went all a bit wobbly. But I quite like that. I think that's good. And then the chef floor, let's just change that to... Is that concrete? Yeah, that's just concrete floor. You can just have a generic kind of... Oh, no, blue definitely does not go. There, like that. So you can just have that. That's a nice floor. I like that. I think that's a nice look. That's a good sort of appearance. Right, now what we need to do is uh, get rid of that. We need to get some people in. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> I, was, I was momentarily distracted by this button here. We, we do need people in. That's fine. But they might need somewhere to sit first. And they might need somewhere to have their food prepared. So let's go and buy us some stuff. Let's get some kitchen stuff. So um, we want two of these. We've got two chefs. We need two preparation areas. How about... We put them in the middle. Let's get those ones. They look good. 550 for a, prep, a sort of preparation area. Wow, that is a significant investment in those. If we put them in the middle, so one there, and then one immediately opposite on this side, if we can push it back as far as it can go. So one there and one there. They can both prepare food, and then we'll just put the things around them. So we'll get an oven for 210. Uh, can we have it red? Yeah, so we'll put things on the side of here. Look, one there, then... Unless these have changed, that was five and twenty. That was eight and forty. Yeah, we'll get we'll get the one with um, eight cooking slots, and we'll put that across there. So that's lovely. So that's got those on that side. Then we'll get the fryer. Now is that one really expensive? Ah, yeah. Now that's down to three hundred now. That was very expensive, wasn't it, in the original one? I think in the previous version that might have been overpriced. It's come down to three hundred. Oh, we can make it all sorts of terrible colours. Uh, blue will do. Let's put it. There. Nope, has to stick out a little bit there. And then the grill thing. So grill Uncle Bob. <laughs> Let's go grill Uncle Bob, everybody. Um, we'll put that there. So there. That's the main kitchen-y things in. And then we want to get the extra bits in. So yeah, we want a couple of fridges, I think. A couple of fridges is going to be good. So let's put one. Is that as far as it can go into the corner? Yeah, so one there and one there. And then we'll get a blender thing. We'll put that on the end of this one. That'll do for colour, whatever. Then there is a sort of red colour that we can have for that. So we'll put one there, and then the microwave can go... Uh, what colour do we want for that? A darker colour, yeah. Uh, the micro can go next to the blender, actually. Why not? So that can go just there. And that's the kitchen done. So the kitchen is all sorted. Lovely, lovely. Right, now let's go and decor up the actual place. So, uh, right, tables and chairs. Which ones do you want? I quite like these ones. I think we'll go for these ones, but they're a bit bright. Can we have a little bit like that? that? That's okay. And then with slightly darker backs. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Two, so this middle one. So the second one and the second one. That is okay. Now, do you know what we're going to do first? What we should do first is we should put in the things around the room. Because we don't want to build tables. Like, say we put a table just there. Then we won't be able to fit the sort of the nice things into the corner. These, um, uh, where are they? These things. These things. Like the classic sideboards and all that lot. We can't fit those on. So how about we get one of these? And these things are good. They're a bit expensive, but three. Three to your environment quality. So people love these. So can we get a slightly lighter one? Yes. Perfect. Okay. And then we put that as near as we can get it into the corner. So just there. And that'll do. People can look at that and go, ooh, and... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, that's... And that's not gone entirely according to plan. That's kind of the wrong way around. <laughs> people are not going to go ooh and ah. People are going to go, what silly sausage. Put that, that thing, that lovely sideboard facing toward the wall. You need to have words with your interior decorators, restaurant people. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Can I change this? I do... Can you change the items once they're down? I don't know if you can. I'm fairly certain it's a thing you can't do. Once the items are down... Um, oh, no, there you go. I can turn it around. <laughs> Hang on. Can I turn it round? Is it spec? It's right. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, you can click it and turn it round. Okay. Oh, there we go. Saved. <laughs> Saved from embarrassment. Lovely. Although, I think it's changed back into the dark wood one. But whatever. That's absolutely fine. So, I have one of those in. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, and then let's just get some pictures and stuff. I can't, I can't go wrong with the pictures. Let's pick um, that. 
because that might be on the side of a mountain or something. That might be what you've come here to see. Um, uh, okay, some weird snapping going on. That'll do. So we'll put one of them in. So that is a rest uh, sort of environment quality. So that's good for the ambience. Change the frame of that. Let's put a couple of these pictures round here. What pictures have we got? Uh, pictures of you. Pictures of... What's that? Uh, some lady. Oh, a picture of a bloke with a big beard. We're up a mountain. He might live nearby. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Can we put that there? Oh, I like that. That's very good. And then and then a clock. A clock would go quite well into that corner. Where's that? Yeah, like one of those clock things. I like those. There we go. So that's quite nice on there. And then can we get a couple of the, maybe the sad plants? Can we can we flank this with sad plants? Yes, we can. Okay. Do you know what? We'll keep the default colours of the sad plants. Oh, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. Yay. <laughs> like that. Sad plants on either side there. Brilliant. Some room here for some stuff. Oh, yeah. How about the menu? How about the, the actual sort of boards there? The chalk boards of all the things. So one there, one there. Oh, no. I don't want that one there. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Third one. There. Come out of that. So come out of this bit. Click that. Uh, new tech. Can we bin that? Yay! Right, okay. Right. <laughs> Let, let's try that again, shall we? Where were they? On the on the wall? That one there. Middle board. Put that there. Right, okay. That looks that looks the same as the other boards. I oh, know it's not. It is slightly different. It is slightly different. Good. Okay, and then uh, plant pot type things. They could come around here. Get a kind of red base to them. They could go about by the door, look. To come in, you've got a little bit of instant restaurants and environment quality there, which is nice. Also, a vase would go quite nicely around here too. A blue one, why not? Put a blue one next to that. Um, is that looking okay? Can we fit? No, I don't want to spend all our money on all this stuff and then have no actual stuff in the kitchen, uh, in the sort of a uh, restaurant for people to sit on. I think we do need to save some of our money for uh, actual seats and things. I do like those though. Can we fit one of those anywhere? Does it fit? Oh, it fits there. Well, that might be quite nice. That's two to the environment quality. Yeah, let's do that. Pop one of those there. Yay! Right, okay. So we've got some pictures and some pictures along here. And then that'll be sorted. Let's put another one of those just there. Because that is two to the environment quality, which is lovely. And then we'll have a picture and then we can be done. So we've got a picture of a, a, a beardy man. Let's have a picture of an umbrella -y lady. That'll do. For some reason, I can't put the picture of the umbrella -y lady by the door. Oh, yeah, I can. I can put it right next to that. That's a picture of a bridge. That'll do. Nice bridge. Maybe it's a bridge in this in the local area, possibly. I don't know. That's probably a really famous painting. I've got no idea. Okay, now that's in. Got some good decor. Let's see if we can get tables and chairs. So tables, those ones. Two and two it was, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. So let's see how near we can get these to the edges. So about, in fact, there. That is as near as we can get that. So if we bring that over... Over, over, over. How near can we put them? Oh my goodness, there's a massive gap. Really? It has to be that much space. Okay, fine. So then we'll bring it across that way. So to there. And then into the nearest space possible for that one. And I think we want at least another pair of these. Because these are going to be the, the busy tables. These are going to be really full. So hopefully, that's, that's six tables. That's quite a lot. Now do we just put lots of those tables going all the way down there. I kind of think we do. I don't think we're going to fit much else down there. So let's fit as many of those as we can down that end. So coming down here, so we'll have one, another one. Just put them as near as we can. Cram as many in. Another two. That's a third. Just keep an eye on my money. That is a fourth. I don't think we're going to fit a fifth in. Okay. Do you know what? That's probably fine. And then let's just get a couple of these because these are 150 each. Um, so we need to make sure that we can get a few of these down so that's where the table goes like that so if we just move this across and try and put it where we can so just there and then we'll put one across to just oh there's a big gap between them one there let's try and get four of these in so one just there and then one back there right okay okay That'll do for now. We've got 400 monies to our name. Now we need to go and do... What's next? What's next? Right. Um, our us. So let's do our character. Right. We know what we're going for. We know what we're going for. I want the cheesecake. So let's go for uh, preparation time of many desserts down. Quality up. Final cost down. Then we'll have final cost down again. Because 5%. You know, 5% cheaper cost is a good thing. Then we'll have uh, quality up. We'll tick that. Then I can make cheesecake. We'll tick that. Hooray! I've got, I've 
got my cheesecake at long last. Uh, and then we'll just go through and have a few basic things. What do we want to do here? Maybe we go down uh, meat. What meats do we get? Roasted meat, boiled meat, meatballs. Quite an idea of roasted meat. Make a really good, really good like roast chicken and roast duck and stuff like that. We have different roast options. So how about we try and get some meat dishes sort of up as well. So we've got four points. So let's put a couple into here. So we'll have meat quality up. Um, and meat, uh, meat cooking time down. We'll put two in that. And then probably because we are going to have various, uh, sort of, uh, recipes, pasta and rice dishes, we'll have that up quality wise. And then also vegetables. Let's have vegetables increased in quality as well. Okay. That's that done. Now we need to go and get ourselves, uh, some ingredients. Right. So now we need ingredients. So, okay. Ingredients panel. I think we just get some tier one ingredients right now. Okay, now one thing I am going to do is people pointed this out and I didn't see it before. There are different drinks over here. I didn't really go this far over. So let's get some different drinks in because at the minute everyone's got blonde beard. That's a little bit boring, isn't it? So let's get red wine as an offer for people to drink. So there you go. You've got a choice. We can have some beer or some wine and we'll get white wine. So we'll have a couple of wines. That's okay. We'll spend the points. Thank you. In terms of these extras, what could we get to do that? Stock. Stock is always a good thing. That's very nice. We could have a bit of stock. So we'll tick that. Um, if we're having a cheesecake, we want to have some nice fruit on it. So why don't we get ourselves a slightly better quality of thing? Do you know what? Let's go whole hog. Let's have blueberry. Blueberry, uh, blueberry cheesecake with really fancy blueberries in it. The highest quality blueberries we can find. Um, let's come back up here and get us... Uh, maybe another bit of seasoning might be quite nice. All spice is kind of just sort of generic, isn't it? What would go well with the cheesecake? I don't think any of those. Things. Oh, vanilla. Vanilla would go well with the cheesecake. Okay, we'll have a bit of vanilla. Um, and then we want some... We've got three points left. Do we get a mascarpone? Somebody to say mascarpone was the good thing to put in a cheesecake. It's an Italian cream cheese used in many desserts and known for being a threat to all diets. Okay, yeah, let's get tier one mascarpone. We'll have that. And then we just get a couple of vegetables just to put into things. So if we're going to be making like salads and stuff, like cherry tomatoes is probably good for a salad. And one more point. One more point. We've got garlic, we've got onions, spinach. Might be quite nice. Spinach might be quite a good thing. Artichokes, fennel, peppers. Peppers aren't really good. They haven't got a salad particularly, do they? Um, what about green onions? Green onions go on kind of salady stuff. That'll do. That'll do for now. So we've spent our ingredients points. Now, let us go to the recipe editor and we can finally make our cheesecake. Okay, there is still a bit of lag while the uh, recipe editor loads. Good grief, it takes a little while to load that. Okay, and this is what I've been wondering about. So maybe the devs have been, you know, taking feedback from lots of videos and stuff that are being made about Chef. And they're realising that people aren't really sure what these are. So they are the main ingredients. Okay, am I supposed to drag things up onto those? Or does that just assume... Okay, right, hang on. So they're the main ingredients, they're the primaries, and they're the secondaries. Okay, right, I get that. Does it tell me anything else? Uh, no, that's how to make your own. That's the kind of taste matching kind of thing. How do you find that out? How do you get to this little diagram just here? I'm not really sure how you do that. And that's the smell thing. Okay, so that's the aroma which has the different colours as well. Okay, right. So let's go down here. Let's go to cheesecake. Let's change the things a bit like that. It's a dessert. And let's call it, at long last, we can have the yummiest cheesecake. Oh, praise be. Right, please work. Please work. It's worked. <laughs> Hurrah. Okay, so we've got gelatin up here. So this implies that we need eggs or cheese or something. So Right, and I've never dragged anything up onto there before. I've never put anything onto there before. So can we get ourselves... Um, where is it? Dairy. Dairy stuff, is that it? Dairy. Dairy is represented by... Oh, I thought that was bread, but no, that's egg and cheese. Of course it is. So can we get our mascarpone and put that up into there? Oh my goodness, you have to put things in the top. I don't think I've ever put anything on there before. <laughs> I don't think I've ever put anything on there. No wonder everything was slightly less quality than everyone was expecting because it had no main ingredients in. Oh, oh, that's just a bit embarrassing, isn't it? That is not very good at all. Okay, 
Right, blueberries, the finest blue... Oh, look at that, 68. Investing in those was a good decision. That was a very good decision. So we've got mascarpone. How about we have ourselves some uh, sort of seasoning touch? So vanilla as a secondary ingredient has no bearing on anything at all. Into the top. Oh, it brings it right down there. Yeah, let's not do that then. Let's not do that. Don't want any other sort of things there. So what could we put in? What could we put in? Um, it's going to be here, isn't it? So we've got, I mean, chocolate. That's not good for that. What about if it was a secondary ingredient? Yeah, okay. That's good for a secondary ingredient. So we've got three and a half. Um, a bit of sugar as a secondary ingredient. Okay, yeah, that, that sort of tops that up quite nicely. Honey on the top, or is that too sweet? Oh, no, that absolutely kills it. Margarine. Nope, that kills it as well. Just thought maybe a bit of extra sort of fat might do the job. Might make it quite nice. Um... So it's got no smell, no smell of any kind, which is a bit weird, given it's got blueberries and chocolate and mascarpone and stuff in. But so 73, I think that's as good as we're going to get that. I don't think adding any of these other things in is going to make any difference. And we could do with salt in it. I mean, do we put some salt in there just to make it a bit saltier? But I don't think that makes any difference onto the actual thing there. It doesn't make any difference at all. So I don't think we've got anything else left to put into there. Apart from, yeah, we could put vanilla in, but it doesn't do anything. It has no bearing on it at all in any way, shape, or form. Whichever way round we put... Oh, no, vanilla actually impacts it if we put it on the top negatively. What if we put mint in? Oh, mint raises it up to 80. Yeah, let's have that. Absolutely, let's have that. So, some nice cheesecake, some mascarpone, some gelatin to stick it together. I don't kind of what makes the base. I don't know what makes the base of the thing. Um, like bis biscuits? Do we need to put biscuits on it? No, okay. How about biscuits as a as an extra ingredient? No, okay, that's fine. I don't know what makes the, the cakey bit of the cheesecake, but that's fine. So, um, yeah, okay. We'll save that, and we can finally have cheesecake. We can finally at long last have cheesecake. Um, okay, right, let me just go and make a few more of these sort of dishes. You know the drill with this now, and I know that we need to put the thing on the top. We need to put actual ingredients on the top. So let me just go through and make a few of these very quickly. Okay, so I've made quite a few things. I've made quite a few things. We haven't got any starters, so let's put the default starters in. We'll adjust all the prices in a moment. So main courses, let's find our ones. So we've got ourselves Mega Grill. Let's put the Mega Grill in. Let's put in the Super Stew. Let's put in the grilliest of all the fish, because <laughs> it's a grilled fish. And then let's see what other ones are the best. So what are the best ones? So grilled steak has got a good kind of thing. Steak and potatoes, that's fine. Tagliatelle alla bolognese. Tartiflette is also very nice. Um, how about a chicken? Chicken with that. And then cod. Cod with onions. There we go. And then another pasta dish. We've got quite some good pasta skills. Uh, then we've got lovely leaves. We'll have lovely leaves if you want a nice salad. We'll just have a light salad as well. And a turkey salad. Because we've not got any turkey on the menu, I don't believe. Let's put all the soups in. Because I like the idea of having all of those soups. And then we'll have side dishes. We'll put both of those in because why the heck not? Um, right, right. The yummiest cheesecake. It's it's finally there. <laughs> I can have my cheesecake. Chocolate chip cookies and apple pie. Very nice. And then actual different drinks. Hurrah! We can offer wine at <laughs> long last. Right, okay. So now we need to adjust the prices because these will come up as silly prices. So they can both be five. The Mega Grill could be... 10, that can be 10. The grillist of all the fish can be 8. Uh, grilled steak, 8. Steak and potatoes can be 9, because it's got some extra with it. That can be 8. These are all mains. So these should all be a bit more expensive. Anyway, that could be 7, because it's just tomato pasta. Salads can all be 5. Lovely. Soups can all be 6. There we go. These can both be 4 for side dishes. Right, the yummiest cheesecake can be 6. The other two can be 5. Uh, and then the beer can be four for a beer. Now, is this a bottle of red wine or a glass of red wine? I don't know. Uh, we'll put five. That'll do. <laughs> there we go. So we've got the menu sorted. It's good for good for meat lovers. It's good for vegetarians. And it's good for vegans. It's good for vegans. Okay, so I've got a mixture of different stuff going on. I think we're ready to open. I think we're ready to open the TGC eatery. So decisions are available. Now, yeah, it's a bit weird because there used to be an opening one in there, didn't there? There used to be one where you had to click it to open the um, open the place up, but now that's not there. So let's just move it to 8 speed and see what happens. 
So people are going to come in, they're going to look around, they're going to enjoy the lovely ambience of the place, they're looking at the menu. Admittedly, not many people coming in. Oh, thank goodness, there's another person. Hello, people, come on into the restaurant. Give us some money, please, because we're a bit poor. So we've got 393 monies. We could do with a little bit of popularity. That comes from the reviews, doesn't it? So we need to make sure we get some half-decent reviews going on. But the minute... It's not the busiest of places, but you know what? I mean, it's only been open 52 minutes. I think we, you know, this is better. They're a group of people. So these tables are, we've got 9 out of 48. That's 9, eight, that's about 20% full-ish. More people coming in, more people, more people. Okay, right, lovely. Okay, the numbers are going, this is good. This is looking good. We're now in prime lunchtime. It's 1.30-ish and it's looking very busy. So, and we've made a bit of money as well. We've got, we started with 400, we've got 419 now. Okay, no one's left us any reviews, so we can't see immediately how well we're doing, but okay. Right, let's. Well, there's nothing we can do. Now, this is one thing about this game. There's nothing we can do right now. There's nothing we can do currently. We just sit and watch and kind of assess the place. Now, it's full. 42 out of 48 seats. That is very encouraging indeed. That is very good. So maybe we spend our first monies on some more seats. Ah, reviews have come in. Yep, I get the reviews. Um, ooh. Very good. Not bad. <laughs> Gleaming praise indeed. Another, eh, not bad. And then uh, Grace says, my guardian angel said yes. Grace. Uh, good beard, Grace. Excellent beard, Grace. Uh, and look at that. So prices are really good. Ambiance is not great. Food is good. And service is good. So the yeah, it's the decor again. We need to make sure the ambiance gets sort of increased. Maybe we can do that with some of our monies. And yeah, we've got three popularity, which means that Tomorrow, or even in the evening session, maybe that will bring more people in. Now, those, that's not going up. So, a poor. No! <laughs> Somebody said no! So, okay, we've had some very goods and a poor. Okay, well, that's fine. You know, everyone, everyone's got to tell their opinion, even if their opinion, whoever left that poor, is wrong. It's a wrong opinion, but whatever. It's an opinion they've got nonetheless. Yeah, the reviews are looking pretty good. So, you know, mostly very good. There's an average in there and there is a poor. There's no excellence and no terribles, but I will, um, I'll take that. So I will come again. A little more care. Nothing I will remember. That's probably one of the average reviews. But, you know, nice. Give it a go. Not bad. And, yeah, it's all looking, it's all looking okay. The price value has come down a little bit, but that's fine. We could do with the food bit going up a little bit. But I guess that's going to happen as we create our own dishes. Make our own foods and, you know, level up our skills and all that kind of stuff. Nine nine popularity and we've got 1200 so we've made 800 monies on this session alone okay right it might be working this is lovely okay evening session begins so yeah that's lovely the the daylight is 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 indeed dwindling people are coming in for their nice evening meals and do you know what everyone we've got wine now <laughs> we've got wine you don't just have to have that rubbishy beer that we imported in from some <laughs> i don't know where it was from some terrible place you can actually have nice wine so let's have a look. So you're taking the order, which is lovely. So you're taking the order. This guy's watching you. The guy with his beard is watching you. Order the best things. Beardy man is watching you order. Can we click on them to see what they're ordering? Um, no. Doesn't seem we can click on them to see what they're ordering. Now, I think you could previously click on them, couldn't you? You could previously click and see what they were doing. Maybe because they haven't ordered yet, we can't actually do anything with them. Maybe they need to make an order. Let's just uh, let's just shifty time on a little bit and get them to the fact when they to the point where they've made an order like that. Okay, so their tables are laid. Can we now see anything? No, I thought we could click on them and see what they were doing previously, but never mind. <laughs> this guy, this creepy sort of uh, this creepy mountain, this mountain dweller watching over these people. So they're sitting there at their table with a bottle of wine. Actually, well done. Oh, and you've got wine as well. Oh, good job. Okay, right. The wine is going very well. I like this. They can look out the window and look at the, the trucks and the car park. Or they can look up here and see the creepy <laughs> the creepy bearded mountain man. Yeah, maybe this place is not the uh, the best table. Maybe we need to put the tables over here that look out over the lovely garden instead. But yeah, we'll get that sorted. We're actually getting money in. And because we're getting money in, it means we can invest it in things like tables and decor and stuff like that for next time out, which is very, very good. Yeah, up here needs some decor because people are probably sitting up here and there is no decor up there at all. So yeah, we'll try and get some decor up there maybe. Maybe that's what we can do for the uh, for tomorrow's, well, it's not tomorrow, is it? Next week as it sees it in the game shift. 
it seems to be going quite well. It seems to be going very well. It seems busy. There's a lot of people around. This person here looks like they've fallen asleep. <laughs> they've just nodded off. Sorry, I've been waiting that long. I do apologise. Sorry. Oh, there you go. There's your food. Wakey wakeys. So yeah, there's quite a lot of people in. And we're up to 1,600 monies now. So we started at about 1,200, was it, for this particular sort of evening bit. We've already done 1,600. Coming up to 1,700 maybe. So we've got about, what, an hour and a bit left maybe of... Of being open and then um and then yeah we, we will shut and we will see our first set of results on the and i don't know what the finance screen looks like is it still confusing <laughs> i'm not sure we'll find out we'll find out if it's still a little bit confusing but yeah that is going very very well so now i know that now i know that you need to put the prices up from the start it does help a great deal so in our first little run through we just went with the default prices we were charging you know 79p for a very expensive soup that probably cost three or four dollars to make we were like yay 79 cents even there you go so no wonder the price values were excellent people get, kept coming back they're like this is brilliant it's just like daylight robbery so um yeah now i know to put the prices up it actually means you actually can make a profit and people still seem to be relatively happy oh they add ambivalent faces they add happy faces and tidying the table away and that's it first day done so we made 2256 so we've got a budget of 1243 okay now this again is a little bit confusing so expenses was that so we spend 410 on personnel rent is that much raw ingredients 467 maintenance 228 so that is our ongoing costs so whatever that is so four six that's 1,000, 1,200 plus some of the beside now. 1,300, say. <laughs> That'll do. 1,300 is our kind of running costs. And then food and... We didn't make anything on beverages. <laughs> I saw wine on those tables. I saw wine. So we made nothing on beverages, which is unexpected. Because I thought someone might have bought something. And there was definitely wine on the tables. But okay, that clearly still hasn't quite been fixed. But food, 2,100. So we do actually make a profit. Which is good. Okay, right. We shall proceed. We'll pause it for the next day. So now we're on, uh, we're on week two. I think we're going to leave it there. But we do have ourselves five experience points to spend. Ten ingredients points. And if we're a bit careful, we could get ourselves an extra table or two in. Maybe just an extra one table. In fact, no. Do you know what? Not tables. Let's get decor. Let's try and get that um, that value up a bit, that ambiance value up a little bit. So let's get some nice decor in just to make it a little bit more interesting for people. So, you know, we could put stuff down here. We can put stuff along here. I'm sure we can put like little plant pots and things along this side as well and maybe around here. So we'll sort that out next time. But yeah, we shall do that in the next part. So yeah, part two of series or season two, whatever I'm going to call it, of Chef will continue with basically decor buying and then just more of the same. So we'll spend our experience points, we'll spend our ingredients points, and then we'll see how we get on. But I hope you are still enjoying it. I hope you're a welcome, uh, sort of enjoying the return to Chef and welcoming Chef back onto the channel. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe just to keep up to date with how we get on in our chefing adventures. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops. <laughs>